patients with acute leukemia or myelodysplastic syndrome who have relapsed after initial treatment have challenging problems. We need to treat them, reinduce them, and get them back into a second remission to be followed often by an allogeneic stem cell transplantation. Obtaining a second remission can be very challenging with chemotherapy. Many patients fail to achieve it. We have devised a trial in which we combine reinduction chemotherapy with infusion of cord blood stem cells or cells from a relative. These cells are thought to reside in the patient's bone marrow and bloodstream for a short period of time and contribute to eradication of the leukemia. This is a highly investigational trial. We have already established in approximately 20 patients that overall this is a very safe approach. We have not seen side effects from the infusion of cord blood cells. There's very preliminary evidence that we may have increased the rates of remission beyond what would be normally expected. Although, again, these data are preliminary. Several of those patients with otherwise very difficult to treat leukemia have gone on to successful stem cell transplant. And one of them is now close to two years after her transplant and doing well. This trial is for patients with relapsed or refractory acute leukemia who have no better treatment options. Induction combined with cellular therapy is being tested in a number of centers around the country and around the world. We are the only ones who use umbilical cord blood stem cells for this purpose, rather than cells from an adult donor. The use of umbilical cord blood stem cells may have advantages in the sense that they may be safer, more readily available, and may induce more powerful graft-versus-leukemia effects.